On Sunday, I spent an hour in the queue at our local DIY store to pick up some paint to go and fix a problem that I had created myself in the living room. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. Earlier in the day, I had decided to touch up some of the scuff marks on the wall in our living room with a pot of paint that I believed, and it's important to note, I believed truly at the time, was white. Not quite though. It had a slight pink hue to it, and as I found it dried, it got more pink over time, not less. But it wasn't until I stepped back and looked at the wall from a distance that I actually noticed the problem. Close up wasn't that hard to tell, the shadows, the light, it was hard to see the difference between the two. But the minute that I retreated, I had a much better view of the problem I created for myself. Over the weekend, I saw this video that's been trending on TikTok, and it's a trend that people have been trying all over the place, where they're recreating the commute that they had before they went into lockdown in their own homes. And there's this video of these three guys that must be self-isolating together, one by one getting into the shower cubicle at their house, fully dressed with luggage, and simulating what it must be like to get onto the Jubilee line during rush hour here in central London. And I remembered that that's exactly what I used to do. Every morning I walk into my bathroom and I say, OK Google, and she tells me about my commute. The Turk is currently 52 minutes if you take 1027 via Charlton Road, Victoria Way by public transport. 52 minutes. Anywhere between 52 minutes and an hour each day. Each way. Two hours a day I was spending crammed inside a small cubicle with a bunch of other people making my way to an office that I was paying for. Like many of you, you might be running your businesses from home right now. Under lockdown, many of us have had to retreat to home working, and I'm sure, like you, you have found that it is not all plain sailing. But one of the big benefits that a lot of us are seeing is we get our time back from commuting. Two hours a day is not anything to be sniffed at. That's 14 hours a week. It's over 50 hours a month. But at the same time, we're wrestling with the separation from colleagues, from friends, that physical camaraderie that can't be replicated over another Zoom call. Another Zoom call. There's just too many different problems created by us being apart from one another. But there are many benefits as well. And I think all of us are beginning to wrestle with how will we go back to some kind of normality after this? And what kind of normal do we even want? Moreover, as the weeks go by in lockdown, one of the biggest things that it's giving me is perspective. Much like when I was stood in front of that wall the other day, when you're just tinkering around the edges trying to fix up something, trying to make minor adjustments, you don't notice how big a difference it might make. That if you were to step back and then reset the whole wall, how much better it would look. And that's what I think we're going through at this time. We're trying to work out ways that we might adapt, when really we need to step back, wipe the whole wall clean and start again. What is it since lockdown has occurred that you've noticed? What is it in your culture of your business, of your family life, of your church, or of a club or organisation that you're a part of that since lockdown has come in, you've had to change? And what with perspective will you want to switch back? You see, I think the biggest thing that this time has given us is the opportunity to get far enough away from our old habits and behaviours to see them for what they really are, what they really were, and begin to imagine what the next phase might look like. If this video has helped you in any way, I would love it if you liked it where you're watching it and you share it with your friends and your networks. It really goes a long way to helping us get these messages out to more people. And if I can be of any help, drop a comment wherever you're watching this. Stay safe, and I'll see you again for Innovation Culture very soon.